What's up, guys? Welcome back to Views. My penis is small. Mm. I know. You know what? Okay. You, you, I wasn't going to bring it up. Of, I've been thinking about that intro all week. You, that's the intro you wanted to come out with out yeah. of the gate? Because I've been thinking people scroll through podcasts all the time. Yeah. And, and like, you know, like music, when I scroll through music, I listen to like the first four seconds. Right. And that's all it's about for me. So I tried. I tried to just capture the audience in three words. My penis is small. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's four words. But yeah, I, 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 it's like a hook. And now people are going to stick through the entire 45-minute podcast because they're going to be like, if he said that at the top of the podcast, <laughs> imagine what he's going to say midway through it. It's going to be a fucking wild ride. And, I'm, and I'm, here, I'm here to fucking entertain. I was put on this earth to fucking entertain. You guys get fucking ready. <laughs> um, no, it's going to be a pretty fucking gnarly podcast. So here we go. <laughs> All right, guys, that was the intro. Um, if you're new to this podcast, I'm dope and Jason sucks. <laughs> and now you're caught up. No, yeah, <laughs> that's how it goes here. It's been a f- crazy day here. It's been a crazy day. I'm, it's, I'm it's 22. Been a roller coaster day. I'm 22, Jason's 75, and we have this podcast together. We compare our lives and we talk about stuff. Yeah. We've had a roller coaster of a day. It's been, I can't even tell you what kind of day it is. Yeah. And it's, I just got the capper. I just watched the vlog. Yeah. And I am so. I have such mixed emotions with you. Yeah. I, 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 I just, I feel, I feel absolutely like I need to go to an insane asylum yeah. because, because I was so mad at you all day. And then I just watched the thing that you made me mad about. And I was, I was pleased. <laughs> I was happy. So, I was happy that you put me through all that because it was funny. So I had Jason get a nose piercing today that he really didn't want to get because he was late to, to a concert with his kids. Now, I do feel bad for that, but his kids were, your kids actually ended up coming late to the concert too. Yeah. And you were supposed to meet them at your house and they came late. Yeah. So it looks like. They, they, we, we worked out like, for David again. <laughs> looks like no one cares about the family on both ends. <laughs> 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 looks like both, both your kids and you have different priorities. <laughs> <laughs> we, made, we made the concert in plenty of time. It yeah. was great. Panic at Disco. Amazing. Um, yeah, kids, kids loved it. They went to go see Panic at the Sky. Anyway, we've had a w- wild day. It was a moving day at USC today. Yeah. So we went to go move our friend Olivia into her dorm. I've never had a moving experience, and I fucking love college movies. Like Accepted, um, I, I don't know, uh, Super Bad. All those college movies, sure. uh, they or like any college show, they usually start with a scene where the kids are moving into their dorm. Yeah. And that's the best. Uh huh. That's the best because that's when you find all the freaks in the fucking hallway. Mm-hmm. When you find the hot. Ch- down the hall when you find the fucking douchebag in the left room like mm-hmm. when you find the guys who you should fucking stay away from mm-hmm. like that's the best because because you find all the characters on one day because everyone's out in the hall and everyone's carrying their stuff around and you're like oh my god yeah. is, what, is that a fucking can of meatloaf or are those video games or are those scissors like you don't know what kids are running around except, with is that a fucking samurai sword except it's 2018 and no college kid will let you film them and every kid's the fucking same yeah <laughs> yeah you're right every kid is kind of like the stuck up and you know what I've noticed is like every kid kind of uh, yeah, no, that, that's exactly right. Every kid is kind every, of the same. Every kid uh, thinks they know everything and their dad is a lawyer. And, and then yeah. they tell you that. Yeah, if you try to film a kid at USC, you'll be surprised to find out that all of the kid's parents are lawyers. Yeah. And they say, no, my dad wouldn't like that. He's a lawyer. That's, yeah. Which I understand not wanting to be on film because you know how it is. Everything comes back to bite you now. I guess. So you, you can't blame the kids for it. I guess. Before we continue, can you not pick your toenails? Oh, I'm going to pick my toenails this podcast. Why? Because they, they there's, there's a lot gross. of schmutz in them. It's so gross. And it's right by my face, too. It's Your face is far away. And, 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 it's a good three feet away And they're away so from dirty. You went, to, you went to panic at the disco, and I know you put your fucking... I put them in right the lead on, singer's mouth. You put them right on the fucking ground. You took your you took your feet off. You took your shoes off because you wanted to feel the vibration of the music. I did. So you were you were exactly stomping all around barefoot, <laughs> and you were just like, "I'm gonna pick them right yeah. in front of David's face." Yeah, and Wyatt spilled some fruit punch, and I just rolled around in it. Yeah, you know, and I made rain puddles with my feet. And you were so turned on by the music that you ran out into the dirt <laughs> and just fucking started dancing in the rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and now your exactly. feet are here, fucking stinking up. The and they went through a horse field. With yeah, piles of manure. Anyway, Jason's feet are gross. I don't want to talk about it. The other day, though, what I do want to talk about yeah. is we were on our flight. Yeah. We were getting on a flight um, 
we were getting on our flight to go to um, where 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 the fuck were we going? Houston. We were going to Houston. We got on a flight. We were getting on a flight, and I do this thing before we get on a flight: is I make Jason get into a a costume before the flight. Mm -hmm. So the last time he got into a Jesus outfit, so he was running around the airport dressed as Jesus. It was great. It was a lot of fun. And this time I got him not so much fun. (laughs) Yeah, this time it wasn't so much fun. He dressed up as um as an inmate, like a guy from a state penitentiary. Like he had handcuffs on and he was completely barefoot, no socks, and he was wearing and he was wearing handcuffs. Mm-hmm. And he was running around the airport through that. And we were really late for our flight, so we didn't have any time to film and get changed back into our outfits. So we had to board the flight as this inmate. Mm-hmm. And and right off the gate, like right at the gate, actually, they were already like, you're not boarding this flight, sir, unless you put on shoes. Mm-hmm. And, and everyone was getting really fucking freaked out. No, no, they were they were they were nice. They, he said he said he was like, he's like, you're not getting on my flight. They should put some shoes on. That's how he said it. And then he was like, what are you guys doing? And, we, and I said, oh, we're YouTubers. We're just doing this thing. And he was fine with it. Oh, OK, OK. Yeah, I was he skip- was fine. I was skipping a little ahead. Yeah. Yes. OK. That okay. guy was fine. The, the guy there was fine. Uh huh. And then I saw. So uh, but he did say he's like, please get your shoes. Yeah, I, I'm not. You're not boarding to get your shoes. Uh-huh. So I ran in. To, I ran in on the flight to get Jason's shoes because his bag was already on the flight. Uh-huh. And I come back, and Jason is already stepping foot on the flight w- without his shoes. So he's already gone barefoot on the flight. Fly, uh, oh, first of all, I was running to give Jason the shoes, and there's a flight attendant in front of me. And I go, excuse me, ma'am, excuse me. <laughs> and she goes, you will wait your turn. <laughs> I am doing my job right now. <laughs> and I just start laughing because I'm like, this is fuck- I'm not going to fucking argue with this. This is hilarious. Why is she in such a bad mood? So I had a little giggle to myself. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll wait. This I is- am supposed to be miserable <laughs> considering the airline that I work for is known for being horrible to people. <laughs> so no, I, I laughed. I laughed off it was fine i giggled um and then and then she let me pass finally and then i noticed that jason was already boarding the flight and oh was that a big problem that i didn't have shoes on yeah was that part of why this happened yeah that oh i had no idea let me keep going so so then jason is getting going to his seat and he walks by this woman and i'm following jason at this point and this woman turns to me and she goes (laughs) oh my god is that a real prisoner (laughs) and i go i go yeah yeah it is and she goes (gasps) <gasps> and I go, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Genuinely fucking scared. Like we were bringing on a real prisoner onto the plane. Yeah. And then she laughed. She giggled because she, I she told, did. I, she giggled. I saw cause, that. Cause I told, I told her that it was fake. And then you went to go sit down on your airplane, on your, in your airplane seat. And then, um, he was still in handcuffs at this moment and he wanted to like take the handcuffs off. And I was wiggling the keys to the handcuffs right in front of his face. And I'm like, you want these? You want these? And instead of giving it to him, I put it in my friend Todd's mouth. And Todd pretended to swallow it. And then our friend Zane saw Todd pretending to swallow the key. And Zane freaked out. And he's like, oh, my God, dude. Dude, did you swallow the fucking key? That's not fucking good. That's not fucking good. I I don't know what is with our friends, but they fucking freak out at one another when something's going wrong. Yeah, he had genuine concern for Todd. He thought Todd was going to die. And Zane turns to the flight attendant, like pulls on her, uh, pulls on her shirt and goes, excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. We're going to, we're definitely going to need a medic on the flight Uh because my friend said, is there a doctor on the flight? Is what he said. He's like, is there a doctor on the flight? (laughs) And, um, and the, that flight attendant was like not having it either. She was just like, what, what do you need? Like, it was almost like they wanted they wanted a reason to kick us off. Exactly. Which is totally, totally normal because we're a bunch of fucking little douche fucking dweebs in first class. I get it. Whatever. They, they signed up for first class because they didn't want to deal with, you know, little little kids like us. Right. Um, so, yeah. So, then she goes. and I think she tells the pilot. And then the woman, another, pilot, uh, another flight attendant comes up to me. There's like seven flight attendants on this fucking flight for some reason. Another flight attendant comes up to me and she's like, yeah, the, the pilot just decided that he doesn't want to fly any of you guys. And I'm like, oh, I'm totally. First of all, let me explain this. We were totally at, like we were at wrong. We sure. should we shouldn't have boarded that flight uh, as Jason dressed as an inmate. Um, but but she told me that, and, I, and I'm like, listen, ma'am, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Like I don't. I, I, we'll, we'll be respectful. Let's just let's just put this in the past. And she's like, I don't know if it works like that, sir. We're really not comfortable flying any of you. And then another flight attendant comes up from behind, and she goes, fucking. She's like bad cop. Mm. She goes. 
9-11 isn't a joke. <laughs> and, I, and I go, what? Excuse me? And Todd goes, excuse me? What, what are you? That's not what we're doing at all. Right. You took it to another level. You made us right. very uncomfortable. And then, and then uh, like an air marshal comes in from outside of the airport uh-huh. to come and talk to us. And he's like, hey, hey who's, the, who's, the, who's, the, who's the head honcho here? And I go, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and everybody goes, David. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he's like, can I talk to you for a second? And he pulls me out of, um, of the flight to talk to me. And he's like, listen, um, the flight, we, we all have a sense of humor here. We really do. But um, <laughs> the flight attendants, they're just not having it today. I don't know what it is. I don't want it to be a big scene. Can you guys just all get off the flight and we'll book you on another one? And I go, okay, sounds good. And I went back uh, yeah. and I got all our friends and we, that's how we got kicked off the flight <laughs> in the most respectful way possible at the end. Yeah. It was, he was just like, please just get off the flight. I'm David so- came back and he was like, all right, we got to get off. And I was like, <laughs> that's hilarious because he's always joking around. And you had to say it like four times to me. And I was like, oh, yeah. well, I'll, I'll get serious? my things then. Yeah crazy so we got off the flight and then we had to wait in the airport for another four or five hours to catch our next one uh, and, we and, had to, and david had to fly economy i had to fly economy which was so brave yeah i mean it really I, was i really went through a lot that fucking day <laughs> i'd appreciate if you guys um you guys could come me some slack for the next couple of weeks um no but yeah that was that's what happened yeah on that flight. that's how it went down Did you, what? No more costumes. No more costumes. No. Place. Did you see that people are getting surgery to look like Snapchat filters? No, they're not. Yeah. Can I see? I don't have a picture. Oh, wait. Like which, which filter? I, I mean, there's a couple filters. I, I would assume like the, like the puffy face one and uh-huh. like the skinny face one. Uh-huh. I think they're, they're looking to emulate how they look in those filters because they either think they're fine, they're cu- cute, or they're funny. I don't know if that means the dog filter and if people are changing their tongues to uh-huh. dogs. Yeah. But it, it is. It or is, those little dog noses. Yeah, the little dog noses. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> What? So people people are trying to become their avatars. Yeah, they really are. It's like Ready Player One. It's exactly like Ready Player One. Wow. Player. Yeah, that's dope. People, thank people you. have lost their minds. Wow, that's dope. Man, your generation. We, yeah, you what a bunch of hacks. What's your problem with our generation lately? Uh, the, you, you went on a fucking. We're all, real. Su- all such fucking pussies. So sad all the time. I have anxiety. Yeah, fucking everybody does. Everyone's always had anxiety, and people just they just fucking. All you guys do is like complain, and, and the other thing you guys do is so funny. It's like I'm sad. No, I'm sad. And then like someone compare like, sadness. Yeah, you like you like just who has sit the worst life. Yeah, and then like especially especially like your like the guys. Sure. I find the guys to just be like always heartbroken <laughs> and always just like oh, she doesn't love me. And it's like, oh, what the dog, fuck? get over like it. I'm not talking about you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why, are you like that? No. <laughs> um, wait, so how was, how was it growing up? But did people not have anxiety? You, you shut the fuck up. You never said anything. You never told anyone you had anxiety. You never said, and now it's like, oh, you have to go easy on me because I'm uncomfortable all the time. You would never say that. If you, if I ever said like, that made me uncomfortable, they'd be like, yeah, it was fucking supposed to. We want you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> like it, the world's so upside down now. It's, it's awful. I agree that it's, it's and I think your generation is like maybe the worst generation to ever come along Holy shit. In, in the entire planet. And I think like my kids, by the time they come around, I think things will go back to normal. You think? I really do. I think it's really gone overboard with how soft and how, how oh, the kid gloves that we all have to use to treat all of you. It, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. You all need to fucking sack up, <laughs> go to war. I wish I could send all of you to the fucking <laughs> Afghanistan. Uh-huh. Every single one of you. <laughs> Sure. How, assholes. How was... How, Such assholes. How was going... I'm triggered. Oh, somebody uses that word triggered one more time. <sighs> You're right. Okay. It's, it's, it is... There are a lot of... It's ridiculous. I, I, I understand. But I also... I just think because... I, I, I don't, mm, I don't, I think people talk about stuff like this more Mm -hmm. because of things like social media where it's like, it's, 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 Oh, I'm not even talking about Twitter. I won't even touch that. That's just some weird fake world that everyone kind of like has one foot in, but no one really believes. You're talking about in real life. I'm talking about the people I know who are from the ages of 18 to 27. Sure. Like people who are like 31, like Josh Peck, like he has like some 
sense of reason left in him. What is Josh, 30 or 31? 31, yeah. It says he's 31. When I talk to Josh, I'm like, it's like I'm talking to someone who has sense in their brain. Like, they're reasonable. But, when I, but anyone, like, lower than that, it's like, whoa, like, what happened? Like, the, the parents just did such a bad job it's not, I don't on think, all of you. If there is, if there is any flaws in, in it, kids these days compared to, like, older yeah. kids, I, I don't think there's anything to blame on this new generation of parents. Yeah. I think, which would be your generation, by the way. No, it wouldn't be my generation. I don't have kids that are 22. Uh, uh, okay. It wouldn't be my generation well, at all. That's my, kid, that's my parents. Hmm? I, my parents are exactly your age, so it, it, okay. Well, mo- I guess so. Yeah. In most cases, you're it would right. be your. It, now yeah. that's not to say your generation now, isn't that, incredible in in other ways. No, sure. Like listen, in terms of like technology and like how how fast you learn. Listen, and, little bitch. Uh, um, go think, ahead, Frank. <laughs> I think that uh, that if there is like some, it, if you can blame this generation for something, yeah. Um, I'm not saying what's right or wrong about this generation, but I am saying that like I don't think it's parents. I think it's just that new age of social media. Like I think. Oh, social, you think social media has caused all of this? I think. I mean, I don't even know what we're talking about when we say this. I think social media has made everything different. indulging everyone's feelings. Everything different. The other day, I saw a fucking thing on. Um, it was a TED talk, and it was talking about um, pedophiles. Yeah. How pedophiles should be treated <laughs> as um, regular people because it's a mental illness. Right. And, and that's like, and, and that's scary. Like that's a, that that's was a, a Ted talk. It was a Ted talk I, or I'm, or I'm crazy. I, I don't know if it was someone compiled a bunch of things that weren't true, but uh, sure it wasn't like a, like an onion piece. No, I don't know, man. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I made this completely up and I sound like an idiot, but that, I think that's what I saw. I don't know. I, I agree. Oh, how was, how about this? How was, how was visiting college today different than visiting college back then? Um, it felt like everybody was very cocksure for no reason. What's cocksure? Very like... Like everyone knew about their penis? Yeah, like, well, I'm here to go to college because it's my right, and I'm going to come and change the world, and um, this is owed to me, and when I get out, you'll all do what I say. Like, I saw two kids in line at the Starbucks, and these fucking two little 18-year-olds, I, I, I couldn't even believe them. Why? They were just like, um, mint mocha. I'd like to have the mint mocha. They're like, is there... Um, is it... I want protein in it. Is it plant based? And the guy was like, "Yeah, it says it's plant based right there." And he was like, "He's like, oh well, what do you think? Mocha Java chip, or do you want um, vanilla bean?" I think you just. They sat there and they talked for fucking ever about like the myopics of 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 what they were gonna have. Like, just order a fucking coffee. Like, all the choices that they've been given are destroying them. They're turning into such little fucking assholes. I wanted to just fucking beat them with a smart water that was in the refrigerator <laughs> I wanted to fucking beat both of them with smart waters and take all, like all the drinks that were in the cold refrigerator and chuck them at their head and then put their put my fucking foot on their head no. on the ground your fucking toe uh, yeah and put my big dirty toe that I wore to, that I dragged around Panic at the Disco tonight oh, I hated them and I was just like and then their, their poor mom was just sitting there just like okay you guys ready to go like she just looked work to the bone like she had given everything she could to get her two little shit sons into USC and Can and I- they were they were just like I, I I just oh I just couldn't stand them and then, sounds- and then seeing the parents and the kids you just see the parents are so beaten it sounds like you got some old man syndrome yeah, I mean, I'm sure I do. I think that's what's going on. I'm sure I do, but I'm telling you, it wasn't like this. Like, what's going on now? It, it, I know, it blows it, my fucking mind. But isn't this like, isn't this just like a generational thing? Don't ever. But it's it, not okay to indulge every little fucking feeling you have. It's not okay. No one gives a fuck. You know what I mean? And people walk around thinking that everyone should care. No one really cares. It's a fake generation. I mean, it's just like that thing when you're like, when someone says something, just fucking fake laugh. No, that's not what you do. You sit there and you go, I'm sorry, what did you mean? But your generation is like, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, right. Me, 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 me. Ha, 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 ha. Wonderful. Like, your generation is like, oh, look at that clickbait title. But they never watch the fucking video. Your generation is like, oh, look at that tweet. Let me draw something from this tweet that isn't intended for me to draw from it. Let me make this tweet about me. You subtweeted me. No, I didn't. I was fucking just tweeting. No, it's obviously about me because I revolve around, the fucking universe revolves around me. Like, it's bonkers, David. Bonkers. Ridiculous. 
And your friend Olivia is very nice, by the way, Are you who bad? helped us today. I'm not talking about her. <laughs> she seemed to be raised well. It is by far the worst generation, for sure. Remember when your friend was moving into school? We were in Vernon Hills yeah. last September, and your friend was moving into school, right? And then the other kid was crying because he wasn't spending <laughs> enough time with him. Yeah, I remember, remember that? that? I do. That's exactly my point. They were just they're emotional kids. The two that you're yeah, it's to. not okay to be emotional to 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 just to, to say to somebody you never cry to say to somebody you have to stay here because uh, you can't leave because you're supposed to be my roommate like. It's it's not okay. It's not okay to to put your will onto someone else like that. Like you're fucking telling, stand on your own two feet. You you have just been knocked down a lot in life, and I think yeah, I have been knocked down in life. And I'll tell you something: when I was knocked down, no one fucking sat there and cared. No one, and you had to pick yourself back up. But now, and I think that's the problem. It's not the problem. No one I'm was fucking there. realistic. I understand no, where kidding, I I'm stand kidding, in I'm life. I'm just, I'm just I'm just joshing. Just Josh. I, I know you're Josh Peckin' right now, but <laughs> the point is, like... Okay, let me ask you a question. You, you were never emotional as a kid? You, were never, you never went through stuff? You never were like... You, yeah, I went through stuff, and my father was like, fucking stop crying, or I'm going to fucking throw your head against the wall. Sure, and that's, yeah. and that's one way of doing things. Yeah. But then what makes your dad's way of doing things correct, and what makes another way's like, parent incorrect? Well, my, the way my dad did things wasn't correct either, but... People have just gone too far overboard with in, just indulging every little thing that that you guys want. Okay, you, you think like, par- parents it's ridiculous? Parents should be more strict. Yeah, <laughs> don't don't turn it on me and my kids. You yeah. Fucking little asshole. So you think parents should be more strict when it comes to sweets, going out to dinner? No, that's not what we're talking movies. about. That's not what we're talking about. Uh-huh. No, I I don't I don't sit there and say to Wyatt and Charlie, "Oh my God, yeah, that singing was amazing. You're going to be a famous musician one day." I don't lie to them. I'm I'm totally real with them. I'm like, yeah, you better fucking keep working. Like it's okay. <laughs> Like I, I, but yeah, when it comes to sweets and stuff, like I give them sweets, but that's different. <laughs> that's fucking different. Sure, I'm not, I'm not giving them a false sense of self. Yeah, yeah, it's just a, that. Oh my god, I've met so many little I, my friend kids friends. Um, I have like friends who have kids who are older, like 18, 19, 20, and they they all go through this phase where you're like, oh boy, like boy, you're fucking i do not like your personality interesting anymore you know what i i i agree with you on some points but i also do think that you're just you're you're just a little bit more upset with things just because you'll sit and indulge every one of your friends every little feelings you sit there you go into todd's room you grab a pillow you <laughs> lie on your stomach and you kick your feet like up and down you're like ha, 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 it's okay zane you'll figure it out you guys sit there all day and talk about your feelings matt king Zane, Todd, Todd walks around and sulks the most beautiful man in the world. What do you have to be fucking sad about, Todd? Scott's real. Scott looks like somebody like used to beat him up as a fuck, like his parents backed him around. Scott I like. Sure. Scott's got a real sense of self. Sure. Like, you know what I mean? Scott gets it. He's like, yeah, you know. This is life. Most mostly sucks. There's a there's a few good things here and there. So what about me? You? Yeah. Well, I mean, you've done a great job. I admire you because you've done a great job of creating something for yourself out of really nothing. I mean, if you look at you, David, you just wouldn't expect anything would happen for you. <laughs> sure. So it's really quite amazing. I mean, I, mar- I marvel at you <laughs> that you've done so well because, I mean, you look at you and I, yeah, I mean, I feel like you should be working at Quickies. <laughs> you know? Quickies is fucking Bob, so fuck you. <laughs> I, I take that as a compliment. Quickies is great. And you know what's great about you is you wouldn't be too good to work at Quickies either. Like, you would take a job at Quickies. Sure. And you'd make it work. And I'd make the best fucking sandwiches. You would. You'd make bomb ass sandwiches and Snapchat it all day. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, guys, check this shit out. I'm putting onions on this one. This one gets an extra meatball because I'm feeling fucking crazy. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, this is David down at Quickies. Come see me. Okay, so you think I don't have, you think I was raised right? You were raised right. I, I, I know your parents didn't give you like, you probably didn't give you enough love. <laughs> <laughs> no, my parents gave me a lot of your love. Your parents are so weird. I see your parents and I'm like, I like them so much. Sure. And they do seem like good people and they do seem loving. Like 
Your dad doesn't seem cold. No, they're really loving. Seems pretty warm. No, they're really And nice. your mom is lovely. Yeah, they're great people. And then, but I don't understand what happened with you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I think Were you I, just a demon child and they just did the best they could? 100%. I is think, that what happened? I was just always, I just always wanted to take the opposing side of anything we've ever like argued about. Like I was always, I would, dude, I was. Oh, if you were my kid, I'd blow my head off. I was. i will blow my fucking head off. You would. Oh, I my, was, God bless your dad. I was a teenage boy out of a fucking movie. Like I was the guy that would just piss his parents off just to piss them off. Like it was like the most, I had the most cliche like teenager and son relationship. Really? Like, yeah, bro. It was brutal. I never wanted to. I even remember that. my dad one day, like, I think I was like cuddling with my parents or something. I was like, I don't know, 19 or something. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I was like, I think I was like nine. I was like nine or eight and I was cuddling with my parents and they were just like, and they were saying like, just wait till you're going to hate this. And I even <laughs> remember saying, what? Wait till I hate this. What are you? What are you guys saying? Oh, really? And like you're gonna you're gonna turn it. You're gonna go through. You're gonna be a teenager, and it's gonna be far different than this. I re- I remember that, and they did. They, they told me that on a couple different occasions, and I never really understood it. And that was the one thing my parents were definitely right about is when I turned it into a teenager, I fucking went full on like switch, and I wasn't like <clears throat> I wasn't like mean to them per se. I was just cold. Like I wasn't like I wasn't like. As uh, friendly with him as I should have been. If that happens with Wyatt, I'll I'll be crushed. Yeah, if fuck yeah, it'll suck. Oh, that'll suck. Because I, I keep saying that to him, like, well, you guys like hanging out with me now, but you're not going to want to. And they they are always like, no, no, we will, we yeah. will, yeah. we want to hang out. We're sure. What you just got to do is you can't ever get mad at them. You always just got to be fucking go- like if your if your son starts being like like cold towards you, yeah, just be like, all right, see you, fuck you, bro. <laughs> just say that, and I'm telling you, it'll fuck with them. Do, really? Yeah, start doing that. I, I, that's, I think that's what would have what, what slapped me out of it. Because I think my parents pushed back at me, and that only made me push back at them more. Uh, like, my parents were like, what are you doing? Why are you acting? And then I was like, oh, I'm going to act like this even more. Really? Yeah, because it was like this, like, I wanted to just, I wanted to make them angry. But if my parents were like, get, it's like, it's like the, the whole, like, bullying technique, right? It's like right. when, like, <clears throat> when you're getting bullied in school, like, laugh at the jokes, like laugh at the guy calling you ugly or stupid or whatever. Right. Because then he'll fucking stop doing it. Right. And, uh, but if you start acting like it's actually bothering you, then he's going to keep fucking doing it because he notices it bothers you. And that's what was with my parents. Like I noticed that me being cold with them and like not responding to them was bothering them. Uh-huh. So I kept doing it like a little snot. Like you wanted their attention? Yeah, almost like, like but, but, but like in like a neck, I didn't want their attention and I did. You know what I mean? Right. I don't know. It, it definitely wasn't like I don't get enough attention. I got so much attention. Like that wasn't the thing. Right. It was like, it, it was just like, I don't know. I, I always think I always think it's because they were Czechoslovakian and you wanted I, to separate yourself. No, it was as th- an American. No, that's what it was. It was Is that a, true? A lot of it was just huh. me trying to separate myself and be like, oh, I'm an American, right? Yeah, and that's that's what it was. But who cares? But uh, l- l- let's be let's be realistic here. Let's get to what matters. What, hey guys, I got I got my nose pierced today. For no, a not joke. that. Oh, hey guys, I have a question for you. Are you suffering from stagnant workflow, lemon flavor depletion? cross-platform synergy having a career you might be entitled to advice from brandon vitamin waters brand ambassador and professionally busy man call 833-477-8339 to see if he can squeeze you in today because as brandon says there is nothing more professional than brandon brandon is an unpaid spokesperson for vitamin water and should not be trusted with business advice or any advice for that matter okay that was vitamin water let me know if you have any questions thanks those ads are weird, guys. I'm going to repeat myself. Um, I literally just say, hey, guys, I have a question for you. And then I have to pause. And then they insert an ad that I've pre-recorded, And then it cuts back to me going, OK, that was vitamin water. So in real time, Jason and I just stare at each other for like six seconds. And it's like a weird Super fucking awkward. It's a weird stalemate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And his, Jason's feet, by the way, have gotten closer to my body since we've been recording I'm this keeping podcast. Keeping them warm. Um, but yeah, OK, uh, let's, let's talk about other stuff because I feel like we've what, been. What did, you, what did you arrange for this weekend with Trisha? Cause she's she know she told me she's she was gonna surprise me in San Jose. She was uh, she was supposed to come surprise me in San Jose. Yeah, she told me tonight. And then when you told me that your your kids, kids were coming, uh, I, I was like, "Fuck, your kids are coming." She can still come. I know, but she wants to share a hotel room with you and get uh, freaky. Oh, we can get two hotel rooms. Your kids will be by themselves. I mean, well, you should we, tell her to come. I did. I told her. What'd she say? 
Ah, I shouldn't go into it on the podcast. I don't want to have to cut stuff out. <laughs> but, no, I, but I love you, you babe. And you should and, you uh, should have her come, guys. The podcast, uh, the Views podcast tour has been going great. We have two more stops left: San Jose yeah. and Chicago. Um, Chicago is going to be great. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, we're it's, it's, crowds are getting bigger and bigger. David's we, doing really good on stage. We just went to we went to Houston, right? Yeah. And after the show, Liza and I went for like a a carriage ride in like this horse. In Houston? In Houston. At midnight? Yeah. Wow. And, and uh, it was like this light up horse and it was like this woman on the back of a horse. And, and we, I didn't notice this at first, but we got, we, got, we got to the horse and I'm like, how much does this cost? And she looked at us and she's like, you guys are the, you guys are the YouTubers, mm-hmm. right? And, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, hi, nice to meet you. And she's like, it's $35 for 15 minutes. And I, I don't know why I didn't think anything of it. Sure. And um, then we were riding and we, we did the whole thing. And like, for some reason, this is the only time I know I noticed is like, I saw her sign of how much it really cost. And it was like $15 for like 15 minutes. Uh, but she just upcharged us. She did. Because she fucking, yeah. Yeah. Because she, she knew that we were YouTubers and that we potentially had money. Right. Crazy, huh? Smart. Isn't that fucking insane? <laughs> yeah, they got you. She was so nice to us. She you was got like, taken. Oh, she was like, I love your fucking videos. <laughs> I mean, she didn't say that. She, but she seemed like she was like a fan, right? She right. Like she liked our videos. Yeah. And and then she was like, "Fuck you guys." You and gotta. Li- th- and Liza was just like, "You just got played." And I was like, "What do you mean?" And I was like, "You just got paid." She's got you got you got you got charged a lot of money. How many people were? You gotta think her part of it, like her side, which is like, how many people were taking horse carriage rides at midnight? No, you're right. In Houston, it was in worth August. It. it was a horse carriage ride. It, it was. Let me tell you, the worst horse carriage ride I have ever been on. It was bad. It was awful. Liza and Why? I. I sat on it, and the second we were just like, oh, this is fucking horrible. Because I think she would pick up the shit of the horse, yeah. and she'd keep it with her like on the, on the carriage so she can throw it and, and throw it out later. So the entire ride smelled like we were sitting next to the horse's shit. You don't pick up horse poop. You just let it drop, don't you? I know, but it was like, it was like the horse shit in the carriage. Uh, like that's, what it, that's what it felt like. It wasn't the best situation. I, don't, I, I really didn't like it. Good God. What's your favorite part about touring? Can, can we talk about this? What? Your girlfriend was super drunk last night. Oh, yeah. And she told you some things. Oh, she told me a bunch of stuff. Tell me, tell me some things that she told you. Oh God, I don't know what I can say. I know, I know. Do we want to have to edit this? Let's see. Let's no, see. just, just, just tell us the truth. Open well, up. she told me, she told me that she. Uh, you found out that um, that that she had sex with a couple that you know. That's all I'm gonna say. She had sex with a couple that I know. Yeah. Yeah. And you had no idea that she even knew this couple. Yeah. And and, she- and I feel like this is why I've been shunned by some other people in my life. Like I put all this together the other night. Oh. Yeah. This couple is related to another group of your friends yeah. that have cut you out of their lives. Yeah. And it's because yeah. Trisha had sex with the couple. And, I think. And therefore that friend group has just eliminated you. I think so. Wow. And yeah. yesterday she told you for the first time. Yeah, yesterday. I had no idea. Yesterday she was just like, I just I had sex with Anthony and and Linda. <laughs> yeah, and you were. What, how did you react to that? I I was like, oh cool, oh. Like, good for you guys. Like whatever. Like it wasn't when she was with me. It was no. a long time ago. No, I know. I don't get up. I don't get that upset about past things. No, but you were telling me how it all clicked in your head. Yeah, and it all clicked in my head. And then I was, and I was like, and, and I put it all together like a private eye. And then I turned to Trisha and I was like, do you understand what that means? And she was asleep <laughs> in the car next to me. You were putting it together and then she wasn't paying attention yeah, to Yeah, she was asleep in the passenger seat. And then David came out to see, so I could come look at his vlog. And then he realized Trisha was drunk and he ran inside and grabbed his camera. And I was already vlogging Trisha. And he was like, <laughs> it was the funniest moment. He was like, oh, hang on a second. <laughs> a team's here. <laughs> I, I turned my camera on. I stepped right in front of Jason's lens. And I was like, I'm going to take it from here. <laughs> That's my favorite. Or if Todd and Corinna are fighting. Yeah. David's like, hang on a second. <laughs> this is, this is, what, do you, what do you say? You say it's the funniest thing. This is my area? Or what do you say? Uh, um, this is, fuck, I don't know what I say. <laughs> I had something about this is my, I don't know what I say. <laughs> This is my department. Jace, J- he'll be like, he'll be, yeah, be, Trisha, he'll Trisha, be fighting. Trisha will be like talking about masturbating and Jason doesn't put any of that stuff in his vlog. And I know that because he keeps his channel clean. So I'll turn my camera. I'll turn, I'll turn my camera on. And I'll go, this is my department. And then I take over. 
<laughs> yeah. And, and then, then she talks about all the masturbation. She loves it. She loves to, yeah. she loves being dirty on David's She's channel. She's super open about it. Did you watch Kanye West on Jimmy Kimmel? I did watch him. How was that? I thought he was great. Yeah, I heard, I heard, he, I heard he came out. What did he talk about? He, he just came out. He talked about design. Yeah. He talked about Yeezys and how much he loves his Yeezys. Do you have someone that you look up to? I do have someone that I look up to. Really? I look up to my son. Look up to Wyatt. Wow. Yeah. He's, he's pretty... <laughs> Dave, look like he's going to puke. Huh? <laughs> you look like you're going to puke. <laughs> <laughs> I do look up to him. The way he, the way he operates in the world, he's, he's just so kind-hearted and... He's just nice to everyone. Like there's no when so when someone walks in the room, he has no predisposed but you do thing against them or anything. It's amazing. But you know why he is nice? Why? It's because he's in this generation. He's in what generation? He's he's part of the social media generation. Oh, don't try to bring it around. Why it is not part of your generation? I am bringing it around. Why it is generation Y? I think I think your or son Y is very. Or I think he's very nice, and he's. He, I think he falls into this perfectly. No, don't even try no, it. No, fuck you. I do. No, because I, I know all his friends and they're all assholes. No. Yeah, but your son, <laughs> on the other hand, is not like that. Your son is such a goody two-shoes, and that falls right under the category that you were fucking shit-talking about 10 minutes ago. Goody two-shoes? None You're of you guys are goody two-shoes. No. You're all self-obsessed assholes. <laughs> None of you are goody two-shoes. I, but he, I think- he, I, what I'm saying is he has all the qualities that you guys don't have. <laughs> He's guy. He's actually like no, but I think I think your son has this quality that's like oh, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Like I want to be careful because I know how much fe- you know what I mean. Like you got slapped around by your dad and you were right. fucking tough as nails. But your son, on the other hand, right. he's he's a he's he's a very nice, soft kid. Yeah, that, that, you know what he I mean. He has a lot of empathy. Yes, yes, and that's and I think that's from being raised in this time and being surrounded by people. I, I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm, I want to reference a story. You guys went to play at a park. Yeah. It was a park. There was no one at the park. This was in New Jersey. Where the fuck you come from? Boston. Yeah. And, and, and you, you and, and your kids wanted to play at the park, and you wanted to play at the park. You guys pulled over. There was no one at the park, and your kid read a sign, and it said, no playing <laughs> after 4 p.m. And both of your kids, it was like 4.30, and none of your kids wanted to play. And that's fucked up shit, bro. That's some shit that I should be yelling at you about. There- your kids kids don't want to play at a park after four that's not me i was dragging them in i was like come on g- give it up i'm like let's go play exactly that's not me i know that's the that's the culture we're in exactly yeah so don't don't say that the that the parents aren't raising their kids correctly it's just social media that's raising these kids my kids aren't on social media you don't know that you don't i do know, know that my daughter's begging for a musically yeah that's all she talked about she tonight. probably has fucking accounts she's nash lover 78 what yes. you're kidding me this entire- Shh. She's Nash Lover 78? Yeah. That, that does all those awesome musicals. Yeah, that's her. Oh, my she God. Wears that, she wears that mask, and she dances to Lil' Kim music. Uh, yeah. Hey, this is going to a weird place. <laughs> daughter in a mask. Um, no, but whatever. I don't want to get into an argument. We, we, we didn't really argue this podcast, but you, you had a lot to say. I'm very curious to see what people say about what you had to say. Oh, look, whatever. I, 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 I like this generation. They're fine. They're just a little soft. That's all. Yeah. That's it. And I did say, you guys are really much better at, you're so good at certain things. Like, way better. Well, okay, what is this generation better at than other generations? Oh, they're way better at learning. They're Tweeting. Way, they're Instagram. Way better. <laughs> <laughs> Snapchatting. No, they're way better at learning. I'm trying to think what else. You, you help me out. And What do you think you're good at? What do you you're, think my generation is better at? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think it's like a generational thing. I, I think, think it's I, everybody. I think everybody is. I, I don't like grouping generations together. I think that's the stupidest fucking thing. I think everybody's so individualistic that it's just dumb grouping a whole bunch of people. It's, it's, you know what? It's generationalist. Maybe it's just that's the vlog. Maybe it's, it's just up. Maybe it's just the vlog squad. Yeah, it's just our group. I think it's just you guys. You, you have a bad outlook on life because you hang out with us, and we're. I think. There's You're lot, also emo. There's a lot of emotional kids in our group. Yeah, yeah. really emo. But you, but you that's have, YouTube. Oh, I feel like all YouTubers are like that. I don't know. I'm. I'm I don't know, man. I met a lot of YouTubers, and they're all the same. Can I say this? I sure. do. I do like this one thing about you. Okay. Uh, um. Uh, it's it's that you can get over things quick. I try most of the time. Like today, today we were piercing, we were piercing your nose. Yeah, and you were very pissed off at me at first. You're like, I don't want to fucking do this. No. But then I saw it click in your head. You're like, Oh, this is this is stupid. It's not going to matter in six hours. Right. And then you got over it. I tried to. And then it just and then it I happened. got that from you, honestly. Yeah. 
And that's, that's what I think is cool about you. And on that note, tomorrow I'm going to pierce your dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and you have nothing to say about it. No, but that's all the time we have for today's podcast. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Tweet me at David Dobrik. Tweet him at Jason Nash. Guys, thanks for joining us. Um, yeah, sorry we just argued this entire podcast. Or Jason went on a rant about how he fucking hates everyone I in America. I love all you guys. Just, you know, <laughs> I love all of you. Don't, don't, don't be too mean to me on Twitter. Okay. Yeah, give him a break. He's literally an old guy. Don't, don't tell him he's if, wrong. If you guys knew the shit that I went through today, the day I had today, I woke up at 5.30. Okay, we're good. My son's All got right. jazz band We'll now. see you guys later. I have to take him to school at Bye. 6.45. Bye.